hi, I'm Danny. Welcome to my channel, Pageant Access. Today I am hanging out in my hotel room bathtub. I'm actually filming this intro after I did the whole video because I forgot to film the intro. It happens. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Follow me on all my social media and enjoy this episode. The lighting in the rest of the hotel room is not very good. Oh, I don't know. there's another light. I figured yeah, we're just going to do bathtub pageant access. Why not? There's no rules to this. There's no rules. I'm in my robe as usual and I got my peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly sandwich with my milk. Let's talk about Miss USA. This week was everything I imagined and so much more. If you love Miss USA and you love pageants, once in your life, go watch Miss USA. Go to the preliminary competition, go to the dress rehearsals if you can, go to the finale. I feel like I have a much different perspective of the pageant watching it live. It was harder for me to pick favorites during the live show. Number one, because I was live streaming it for you guys. So that made things a little bit tricky. I was trying to pay attention on my phone. And number two though is just because when you watch everything online, you get these really great angles of the girls. You get all the cool camera views. But when you're watching it live, you want to just pay attention to them on stage. So excited that Alaska was in the top 10. You guys know I was a fan. You know I was a fan of her and Tennessee and just loved them. Great, great girls. I got to meet Miss Tennessee after the show and she was so sweet. She was so nice, which just makes you so happy when you, when you find that. And I heard great things. I was talking to people in the show and I heard great things about Miss Alaska. Just makes my heart happy. I felt like she was so genuinely happy on stage. Let's talk about the production. WME IMG is stepping it up. I was impressed with the opening number. I've seen other pageants in other countries, well, not live, but they put on some elaborate opening numbers. And I was actually glad that I left the dress rehearsal and didn't see the opening number because it was a surprise to me to watch it during the finale. Live? Wow. That's how you put on a pageant. And I feel like IMG is really falling into their own and they're finding their own way of producing Miss USA. I know that there's a lot of changes to the show. We're gonna see that. We have a top three, we have a top five, there's only a top 10, uh, all, all these different things are going. We had a Miss 52 last year, and I get it, changes are scary, but one of the best things about Miss USA is they've always kept it fresh, and they've always brought new things to it. So I actually like the direction that we're going, and what I am feeling so good about tonight, as a contestant, as somebody who loves pageants, as somebody who coaches, is every girl that I noticed in the top 10 that was chosen, they each had some substance. If you watched their Road to the Crown videos, their, their Miss USA video clips that they featured during the final show, they all had some kind of a story. They were more than a pretty face. It was interesting to see that the girls that were in the top 10, I thought that some of them didn't have the best walk or didn't have the best gown. But it's making me feel really good to watch Miss USA. We're getting a shift from just the prettiest faced, the best walk, and that's how you get your top five, and then you're choosing from your top five. I felt so good to see the girls that were in that top 10 and to hear their stories. I, like I said, as a competitor, you watch Miss USA and you think these are the most beautiful women in the world, and they are. These girls are gorgeous. But I also look at some of the girls that are very augmented on stage, and you can't help but to compare yourself to the girls like that, and you wonder, is that what I need to do to win Miss USA? I don't think that Miss DC is augmented. I'm not positive. I don't, I think that she was born with the face that she has. And to me, that was very encouraging because being here and looking at all the beautiful women during prelims and finale, I gotta say the thought crossed my mind. Do I need a nose job? Do I need my lips to get filled? Do I need my cheeks filled? To see Miss DC walk out with her natural hair just to be herself, that really inspired me tonight. The onstage questions, I was impressed. It was interesting though that I didn't think that the questions were extremely political. You didn't hear the audience gasp with one particular question. They were all centered around global issues, which is great. You want a Miss USA that is aware of what's going on around her. Nobody had a terrible mistake on stage. Some answers were stronger than the others, which is going to happen, but everybody did impress me. I thought it was interesting to see though tonight that we didn't see gown changes in the top 10. 
Not that I can recall. And usually we do see that. That was the one thing I was hoping for. I just like to see more gowns. That was it. I was hoping that people would change their gowns and I would see a gown that just <gasps> took my breath away. But DC's dress actually was one of my favorite Sherry Hills from the Couture fashion show. From Sherry Hills last New York fashion show. Sorry, Danielle. I can't do that. What did I say to Siri? I had recently posted a DC's gown in Pageant Access. But for me, the moment to see DC that, that I felt she was just special was that aerial shot. Right when she walked forward for an evening gown and the shot kind of flew behind her and her whole gown was laid out in that chiffon. It was just so beautiful. Oh, I felt the magic there. When I saw that, I, I just more and more I kept leaning towards DC and everybody was cheering for her. She wore a one-piece swimsuit. When do we see that? I've always loved one-piece swimsuits. I want to wear one-piece swimsuits. She can wear it. I like these changes that we're seeing. It was hard. With only a top 10, I could have seen Georgia up there. Obviously, I could have seen North Carolina up there. Y'all know I loved her. I loved her. She was so cute. Texas really shined during prelims, but I think it really, it's going to come down to that interview, the content. And I love that. Like I said, it just makes me feel better about being a contestant. It makes me feel like I am enough. I don't have to augment myself to be successful at Miss USA. And that just made me feel really good sitting in the audience. Other thing I liked was the emphasis on Mother's Day. I cried, I was crying every time. I could not listen to the Mother's Day things that they were doing because I was just thinking about my mom and how I'm not here with her on Mother's Day, but she knows how important this is to me. So she supports me to come out, see the show, and hopefully next year be in the show. That'd be great. Love South Carolina's swimsuit change. I'm so itchy. You're you ever get really itchy where your skin gets dry? I didn't really take notes this time, you guys. I have to remember this. In swimsuit tonight, California shined on stage. When I saw the line up, I think it didn't hurt that she was the only one wearing a hot pink swimsuit, but when I saw her, she just stood out. Aha! Uh -huh. I like when they ask the girls questions right when they announce them in the top 10, and Alaska got to talk about why she wore her gown, so all of you out there watching understood the gown, and I knew she was gonna do that. I knew it. Because everybody was really confused about it during prelims, but since I follow her on Instagram, I was like, girl, I get you. Wasn't Miss Illinois everything? Wasn't she gorgeous? Didn't I tell you guys? I didn't really understand her onstage question on the top five. really confused about what she was saying. I was like, I'm trying to follow along. Not really getting that. I took a picture with Miss Universe. I don't usually take pictures with people, but my friend Christine wanted a photo. So I said, okay, if you're going to get one, I should probably get a photo. I might regret this, so... Take a picture of Miss Universe. I'll put that somewhere. The show went by so fast this year. Top 10 felt, felt very strange. After Deshaun's farewell when they were about to crown, I looked over at Christina and I said, is this the crowning? Are we already there yet? Is there, there's not another commercial break? I hope that all of you girls out there do feel encouraged watching this year's pageant because I get so many girls that tell me that they love USA, but they would never do it because they think that they're too fat, or they think that they're not pretty enough, or they, they're, they're focusing on all the little things that they think are wrong with them. But what I'm really seeing now in USA is more and more women embracing what's making them different. And that's what every little girl out there needs to see in pageants. And I like this image. This makes me like USA and Universe so much more than I already do. Let's see you guys with questions. You guys wrote questions to me. Let's see these comments. Here we go. Christopher something is really upset, saying the Trump era of Miss USA and Universe is over. It's not about being perfect with a great body. The decade of Venezuela's is gone. So I request you please update yourselves with a new trend. I don't think it's a new trend. I think it's a new direction. I don't think it's a new trend. I think it's the way that you prep your judges, and I think that it's the way you format your show, and it's what you emphasize for girls to do. It's the way that you're editing your Road to Miss USA videos. All of those things are a really big factor. If you look during the show, for the Chi hair care segments, they were featuring contestants that all had ethnic hair. And I think that's great because there's a lot of little girls out there that feel that they have to straighten their hair for a pageant and I don't agree with that. I think that if you feel good with your curly hair, you should wear it. If it's your best look, you need to wear it. There is this emphasis on diversity that they're really, really pushing and that's going to affect how it's scored. If you're pulling judges out who are recognized for being a diverse individual in their industry, that's going to be something that they value in a contestant and might be more drawn to. But you can still have 
a beautiful Miss USA that's, that's diverse. Somebody wrote, Miss Universe from last year was uglier than this year. This show is rigged. That's not nice. If you're between Bambi, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. You guys, New York made top 10. How exciting was that? Loved her. A lot of you thought that there would be gown changes too. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing those comments. Somebody said, you seem completely against Miss America. Not at all. If you love Miss America and you like their system and how they run things, go for it. I just know that I'm not a Miss America girl. I did it. I said, I don't enjoy doing this. So I left. And that's good. I encourage everybody to do that. If you figure out that that's not an opportunity for you, pass it along to the next girl. I just prefer to compete in USA. I'm dripping jelly everywhere. This video is obviously different from no normal ones because normally I get to sit at a computer and I write down all of my notes the whole time. But this time I was live streaming it for you. So I wasn't able to take down notes. Let me know what you thought about this show. Leave all your comments down below. Put all those down there. You, I know, will refresh my mind. I'm probably not, I just, what I need to do is watch the show again. Now Miss USA is over, and guess what that's time for? Preparing for the state pageants. Please, if you can, subscribe to this channel. Well, I know you can, so please just do subscribe to this channel. Check out my Road to Miss Montana USA series. I want to share my journey with you guys along the way. I want you to be a part of it because I do. It, it, why not? Why not? Let's share this moment together. When I'm on stage, it's not just me on stage, it's everybody out there that's watching. I feel like we're this wonderful tribe, this little group of people that love pageants. So I like to think of that when I stand up on stage, and it means so much to me. So please follow the channel, follow Road to Miss Montana USA. Check out my Instagram too, because I'm posting more photos of behind the scenes at Miss USA. Like I said, I did film it live, so now the live videos are up and you guys can see what was going on during commercial breaks, which is really cool because I've never thought about that before, what actually does happen when the cameras aren't rolling for the live show. So you guys can check out some behind the scenes. I had really cool seats. It was great. Check that out. Subscribe. Comment. Like. Please keep all of your comments positive about the contestants. These girls do watch this channel and they do see it. So if you're going to say something, keep it constructive, please, because... We are all real people and that hurts your feelings. It's not very nice to do. 